Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for you guys that are new here, I'm Bruna. For today's video, you'll probably want to go grab some popcorns because I'm about to answer some of the questions that my Instagram followers asked me. I basically asked them to ask me some juicy, random, fun questions. Let's see how creative you guys are and let's see how well I can answer them. But yeah, let's get into it. Literally so many questions on here, but I'm gonna try and get through quite a few of them. Okay, so the first question is, what's your go-to drink when you go out? So this probably completely depends on like who I'm with, what the situation is. My favorite drinks definitely to go get out would be cocktails just because I actually enjoy drinking them. My favorite drink, this is really specific, but it would probably be the Cherry Bakewell cocktail. So it's just like a cocktail that tastes like a Cherry Bakewell tart. So it's literally amazing. If I was going clubbing or something though, I would generally just get like a double vodka diet coke just because I'm not that adventurous when I go out clubbing. But okay, the next question's a bit of a bold question. Does working out improve your sex life, such as confidence, etc? Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you, since I started working out, being consistent, getting healthy, recovered from binge eating, I would say it has improved my sex life. Not only has it improved like my sex drive, so my sex drive is a lot better than what it used to be before. I feel a lot more confident in myself. As you guys can imagine, the sex life is better just because I'm a lot more confident. I'm not insecure about how I look especially after finding somebody that I'm really comfortable with. I feel like I'm just a lot more confident in that genre of my life. Um, <laughs> yeah, didn't think I'd be talking about that on YouTube. Would you date a boy that's not into the gym? So yeah, I think I would date a guy that's not into the gym. So I think my preference would be that they're into some sort of sport or just staying active just because obviously it's such a big part of my life and I absolutely love it. So I feel like I'd want to be able to date somebody who I can go to the gym with or who I can work out with or even obviously go to watch sports matches together. So just somebody who's generally into some form of ath athletics. What is your go-to fragrance? I have two go-to fragrances. First one is obviously Black Optium. I think that's how you say it. I'm not actually 100% sure. Um, the second one would be Coco Chanel. This one's like my day-to-day -day use. But this one would be like if I'm going somewhere really, really fancy and just want to smell. It literally smells so good. I'm going to uni in like an hour, so fancy places. Do you have a boyfriend? So yes, I do have a boyfriend. We only have recently got together though. So you guys probably haven't seen him on my social media. If you're a guy, stay out of my DMs. Do you miss the US? Yes, I literally miss the US so much. I feel like it is mainly just because the weather. So in Chicago, even in winter, even though it was freezing, it would still be blue skies unless it was rainy or stormy. But where I live currently, it's always cloudy. It's always raining, all of that sort of stuff. So I feel like I kind of get a bit of seasonal depression in that sense. I also really, really miss my friends, obviously. So shout out to Issa. She's like my best friend in the States. I really miss my friends, but I do love living where I live right now. Do you drink alcohol? So, so yes, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I do drink alcohol. However, I do not drink alcohol that much. When I say that one to two drinks would be enough for me, one to two drinks would be enough for me. I'm very much a lightweight in that sense. I do go through phases. So like recently I haven't really gone out that much. It's not really interested me. I kind of just prefer to stay in. Um, but like a couple of months ago, just before Halloween and when uni started back up, I was going out quite a bit. So it honestly just depends. Okay, I love this one. How do you prevent camel toe in gym wear? Lol. Okay, TMI. I do not wear underwear to the gym. So I actually saw this on TikTok. Somebody recommended that you don't wear underwear under your gym shorts. So what I do is 
obviously like I'll just wash my gym shorts or gym leggings after the workout but I just take off my underwear put my gym shorts on and it actually prevents like me getting camel toes I guess I mean obviously camel toes are completely natural so it's fine if you do get them but it just like reduces all the lines and stuff and now I just prefer wearing my gym wear without underwear but yeah so if you haven't tried it literally try it because it is a game changer do you have any plans for future and then in brackets it's like traveling jobs etc so honestly i want to stay another year at uni and do a master's i have changed my mind about architecture it is really really intense and i don't think that i actually want to be an architect at the end of it so I would like to go into something like interior design, something to do with fitness. Um, I would also like to do social media on the side. So it honestly just depends how those different aspects of my life go. But if this year goes well, I would like to do a master's in either marketing, sports science, business, something along those lines. I've not actually looked into a specific course yet, but I have a lot of ideas up here. After that, I would really, really like to move abroad. I'm not 100% sure where. Low key, I know exactly the vibes that I'm going for. So I'm going for somewhere that's warm, somewhere that's hot, somewhere that has nice beaches. Australia is sounding pretty good um but I would even like travel for like six months go to loads of different places but that is kind of where I'm at right now and then job wise I would love to do social media um especially like with things picking up and everything on my Instagram especially I would love to do social media but I mean I guess it just depends what happens and I would also like to go into like business, coaching, or even interior design, which would link back to the, my architecture. How do you deal with insecurities? Somebody else also asked, how do you deal with comparison, body, but also life in general? Insecurities wise, I feel like this might not come across on my Instagram as much, just because obviously I'm always posting about myself. I take a lot of photos. In reality, I feel like everyone deals with insecurities. Everyone is insecure about something. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes insecurities do really get to me and I will get really upset over it. Especially if somebody says something to me on social media, in my comment section, or DMs me something like really nasty. What I try to do, honestly try to think about it in a sense as, is it really as deep as I'm thinking? So on like bad body image days, I will definitely wear clothes that are a lot baggier. So I will try to keep my mind preoccupied with something else. I used to really, really be insecure about my skin because I suffered a lot with acne. Looking back on it now, I just wish that I could tell myself like everybody goes through that weird, awkward teenage stage where they are having either acne, struggling with body image. Really wish I could tell myself that everybody suffers with that in some sense because I always just generally thought it was just me and I remember a few people at school would say stuff about my skin I would do everything I could like to try and keep my skin as clean as it could like I was washing my face all the time when it comes to insecurities about my body I try to think of it as I've worked really really hard for what I've achieved and if I'm having a bad body image day that is totally okay because everybody has those days where they're really not as confident about themselves. Sometimes I will just take a little short social media break. So whether that's just for two days, whether that's for a week, but I feel like it brings me back to reality and it makes me realize that not everybody is the exact way that they're represented on social media. The highlights of the best parts of your life, I guess. For example, I always think about it as I'm not gonna post myself if I'm crying and in tears and just ranting about my life i'm not gonna do that so a lot of other people also don't do that social media is a reality in some sense however it's not the total reality and it's not everything that you go through that's how i kind of deal with comparing myself to people online how i deal with comparison with my life in general For me if i find myself comparing my life or my achievements to somebody else I'll just take a step back and I'll be like, Brona, look, you were here 
five months ago you were in this really really bad spot or maybe I was in an okay spot five months ago how far I've progressed in five months to where I am now that's what I look at and I look at the highlights of the things that I've actually achieved in those five months because obviously there's a lot of things that I probably didn't achieve that I wanted to achieve but there's definitely a lot of things that I achieved that I thought that I would never have achieved in my life. How long should I stick with the same weekly workout? I stick with my weekly workout for four to eight weeks just because consistency. A lot of the times I will keep the same compound movements and just switch up the isolation movements. Okay, a guy has asked me, best body type on a guy, e.g. dad bod versus muscle slash gym bod. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I definitely am into gym guys. I don't really mind like a guy's body because I feel like I'm definitely one of those people who's more into personality. Somebody is literally looking at me through the window. <laughs> This is so embarrassing. If somebody is funny, if somebody has a good personality, if they're genuinely kind and a genuine good person, then I'm gonna prefer that over the body type, if you know what I mean. But if we are just talking about body type, I would say that a gym body is my type. And also I would say that like, the back is my favorite feature. So if you have a good back, I think, that the back is amazing you get approached a lot by people at the gym so yes in some sense i don't really know how much is a lot yeah i've definitely had a lot of people approach me in the gym whether that be people either recognizing me from social media or just wanting to be friends or guys hitting on me which is like the worst thing that can happen in the gym in my opinion because it just makes it really awkward because i'm always there like look i'm not at the gym to find a boyfriend like i'm here to work out get my shit done and then leave what are you studying i study architecture worst date okay i didn't really go on that many dates so i don't really have too much of a good answer for this opinion on booty scrunch contour leggings i never see you wear any it's okay, so I do have some scrunch leggings. I think that they are really, really great for defining the bum. It's just the fact that I kind of find them a little bit uncomfortable whilst I'm working out. So I might wear them like day-to-day -day usage, but in the gym, I wouldn't really wear them anymore. I used to wear them all the time, but now I just find them way too uncomfortable, especially since I don't wear underwear at the gym. So that might be why. I think they look really cute and I think they look amazing. I see people wear them all the time, but I just, find them a little bit uncomfortable do you have a gym crush no i do not are you only into guys what's your sexuality i am bisexual ideal guy type so my ideal guy type mm, that is a good question mm. <laughs> so i tend to go for people that are athletic whether that be they play sports or they go to the gym um or they play for like a team sport or just because i feel like i'm super athletic and i love working out so i feel like it's something that we would relate to a lot i also definitely go for people that are funny and have a sense of humor and have good sarcasm that stuff is really important to me looks wise obviously like a good face is a plus but I don't really care too much about looks. Like, I definitely do care more about personality. How many gym outfit sets do you have? Okay, I have so many. Um, it's actually a joke. Like, like, two or three of my uni drawers are just filled with gym sets. But I am currently trying to declutter my wardrobe and stuff. So I am selling some stuff on depop i'll leave the link below because you guys might want to check them out uh, i have so many gym sets that a lot of them i've only worn like once or twice as well as that like i've literally just spent so much money on abel's black friday sale so i'm waiting to get my package through i'm gonna do a haul of that so check that out once i've uploaded that um but yeah i have way too many like i can't even say how many i have like i'm currently wearing an all black one i never like i think this is the first time i've worn this and i got it ages ago so okay so i've literally had quite a few questions about recovery um eating disorders but i'm gonna do a separate video on that so check that out when i upload that um just because i want to spend as much time as i can going into detail on that okay this is a really good question do you ever feel like guys use you for your body so I feel like to an extent, yes. 
Okay, so I'm going to be completely honest here and say I don't have that much interest in like sleeping around or talking to people. I very much prefer to either go out with my friends, family or just stay in with by myself. So when you ask like if they use me for my body, so I feel like yeah there might have been a few guys that I feel like have probably used me for my body. Um but to be honest like they don't really get anything out of it. So but I would say as soon as I realize or as soon as I think that that's happening, I do very much cut it off because I'm like, I don't want somebody to be with me just because of my body. So with my ex-boyfriend, I was actually best friends with him before we even started dating. So I wouldn't say that he ever used me for my body. He was a really genuinely nice person. Um, and he was just very considerate. He didn't actually care about anything sexual in that sort of sense. So... I wouldn't say that he used me for my body, but I would say that there's definitely been people who I've talked to where I've got the impression that they were using me for my body, but they would never really get anything out of it because as I said, like I would just prefer to be with my friends, family, or staying in rather than talking to some guy who's just in it for a quick, you know, height. So I'm just under five foot four. How do you consume enough protein while being plant-based? So I like to include supplements such as like protein powder. So I use Bless Protein, absolutely love it. I put it into like my oatmeal, snacks, all of that sort of stuff. And then when I go grocery shopping, I'll also make sure that the meat substitutes that I buy are higher in protein. So some of them that I've looked at, it would be like five grams of protein, but you can get the same thing that tastes relatively similar for like 25 grams of protein so i kind of just think in my head like be a bit more aware about the foods that i'm eating i also like to include beans chickpeas all of that sort of stuff into my diet but obviously i don't rely on whole foods as my main source of protein i do like to substitute with protein powder and with alternative meat products favorite country you've traveled to so my favorite country that i've traveled to would probably be tanzania in africa um we went there with school so it was like a school trip and it was just amazing we when we were out there we basically did some charity work safari and then just exploring the area and it was generally amazing like it was such a beautiful country the people were all really really nice some people gave me a little bit of hate on this but we move What's your preference, morning gym sessions or night? My preference would probably be morning, even though I'd probably go more in the evening, but morning, definitely better. I feel so much better about my day. I feel so much more productive throughout the day as well. But nighttime sessions are just easier for me because of my schedule. Soaking up the rays on a sunny beach, chilling in a cozy cabin in the woods or outdoor fresh air with a view. Definitely soaking up the rays on a sunny beach. If you know me, then you know that I absolutely love summer. I thrive in summer. I love going to the beach with friends. I love all the summer activities. So definitely soaking up rays on a sunny beach. However, the other two do sound really as well. Like I would definitely do the other two. Do you think that in the future you will stop calorie counting and start intuitively eating? So currently I'm actually not calorie counting. I haven't been calorie counting for just over a month. Um, I will probably start tracking my foods again, maybe next month or the month after, just when I feel ready to do it. Um, but yeah, I think that there will be a point where I stop tracking completely probably. It's just something I like to do to stay on track with my performance, my strength and all of that sort of stuff. How is dating life and nightlife different in America than the UK? I haven't experienced nightlife in America because obviously I'm under 21 and I don't have a fake and I don't really see the point of having a fake if I can go out in the UK whilst I'm over here. But nightlife that I have experienced would be like house parties and stuff. So house parties are a lot more fun in the States in my opinion just because I feel like there's so much more effort that goes into them. So one of my friends, Cole, he hosts like these really good parties. Parties over here, the ones that I've been to, it's just been like someone's speaker and then drinks. But so I prefer that aspect. I do like going clubbing in the UK though, like it's fun. Dating life, I feel like in America, people actually put a lot more effort into dates. Um, 
so when I've gone on dates with guys in America, it has been very much fancy, like sit down meal, um, going to nice cafes, taking me to a sports match, doing water sports, going on your boat, all of that sort of stuff. But so far, like a lot of the guys that I've met in the UK, like literally put zero effort in. Like they will generally just be like, oh, you should come over and watch Netflix. Like I'm not about to Netflix and chill with you. I don't know, men are confusing, but we move. The last question is, most embarrassing thing you've done in the gym? I've done a lot of embarrassing things, but let's get into it. I've probably done stuff that's like a lot more embarrassing than this, but this is the one that's coming straight to my mind right now. Um, so basically I was doing a heavy leg day and I had just eaten like a huge meal beforehand, which is a mistake. Like if you train like weights in the gym, you'll know that hitting a heavy leg day when you've just eaten a huge meal is such a mistake. I was doing squats and then I think I did my hip thrust and I started to feel a little bit nauseous, but I was kind of like, okay, no, it's fine, whatever. And then I like had a sudden burst of energy. I don't know if it was like my pre-workout, like finally kicking in or something. This exercise was like the leg press machine. And I was sat on the leg press machine. I was really pushing myself and I was like, yeah, I can go heavier and heavier and heavier. I think I hit a PR and I was to do one more set and I was about to increase the weight again and my legs were literally shaking. So all of my blood went to my head as soon as I stood up and I just felt so lightheaded all of a sudden. And I was there like, oh my God, no. And I could just feel myself like about to throw up all over the gym equipment. If you went to that gym, I'm really sorry if you experienced or saw me do this but I basically puked everywhere all over the floor. And ever since then, I just eat small meals or a snack before I go to the gym because I do not want to throw up again on any gym equipment, especially the looks that I got from people, they probably just thought I was crazy. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I did try to keep it as interesting as I could. I did get a lot of other questions about eating disorders and all of that sort of stuff, but I'm gonna do a separate eating disorder video. And let me know in the comments what you wanna see next, what um, type of content you want from me. And yeah, have an amazing day. See ya.